Hello my dear family members again today's session will be very much helpful to you because today I will share all the coding questions which were asked in TCS NQT from 3rd May up to now. As all you know in TCS NQT the coding questions are mainly asked from string, array, matrix and hash maps. This year also they asked from those topic as well. So without any bug bug let's start but before you proceed I would recommend you to have the prime materials of TCS NQT in which I have included all the previous year questions all the mock test and the recent questions as well right so to get that knock me at my ID instagram.com slash techno.uf right and be mindful this is paid right so the first problem is regarding socks pair right so in this problem you are given the input like this right so six is the size I mean six is the number of uh socks and this seven is the size and l is the leg right this is the uh, left leg and for r this is the right leg right so seven l and seven r uh combining those we can get one pair right and eight l and eight r we, we if we combine them then we get one pair right so how many pairs can we make using these socks right so six is the number of socks and this is the size and this is the leg right so which leg is this so 7l 7l and 7r right so from 7 size 7 there are three combination but only one pair can be formed right so one for leg uh, i mean left leg and one for right leg right so combining those we can make one pair and we, we have to ignore this 7l right and again 8l and 8r combining those i mean this is one and this is another for right leg right so combining those we can make one pair again so for that the output is two right that means only two pairs can be formed using this right so if this would have been uh, let's say 8r right 8r and this is also let's say 8r so how many pairs can we make using this only one pair right so the output for that case is one right because only one pair can be formed as you can see 7 l and 7 r so there is a socks for left leg of size 7 and there is a socks for right leg of seven, uh, size 7 right so combining those we can make only one pair otherwise we have to ignore all because there is no other pair can be formed right so i hope you understood for that right so if you understood then please give me the answer in the comment section and please tell me if you are able to solve this or not right so if you are not able then i will give you the answer in the comment section as well right because i am now not going to give the answer so that you can be prepared more right so let me go to the next question but before you proceed i would recommend you to go through the playlist of tcs nqt in which i have been uploading all the recent questions right so this will be very much helpful the link will be given in the description box okay so i hope you will go through that so the next question is regarding missing number right you are given n and n minus 1 numbers in the range 1 to n you have to find the missing number right so uh, n right so in the sample input is n is equal to 5 and you will be given n minus 1 numbers like uh, 5 minus 1 numbers so 4 numbers will be given and you have to find which number is missing from 1 to this n right this n what number is missing that is in this case 1 2 3 4 5 should be there but 3 is missing so output is 3 right so in the same way if the second sample output was 6 and uh, the numbers were 1 2 3 then 5 then 6 then your output should be 4 right that means the 4 is missing in this case right so i hope you understood this is from basic questions so I expect from you that you will give the answer in the comment section, right? So let me see who are the champs are giving the answer accurately. Okay. So let me show you the next question that is regarding prime number, but uh, this is asked in advanced section, right? So you are given a range A comma B. Find all the prime numbers whose digit sum is also prime. You don't just have to find the prime number, and you don't you don't have to just find the prime number in a range. You have to find the prime number and you have to find the prime number in the range and the third task is you have to find the prime number whose digit sum is also a prime number right so you have three tasks so at first you have to find the prime number you have to find the prime number in a range and then you have to find the prime numbers whose digit sum is also prime right 
so who uh, the prime number is the number which is being divisible by the number and one itself right so i hope you understood so you are given the range like this 10 to 50 and you have to find all the prime numbers like 11 20 11 13 uh, 17 19 23 this way you have to find all the prime numbers between 10 to 50 and then you have to return the numbers the prime numbers whose sum digit sum is also prime number like in this case uh, 11 is prime number and its uh, sum uh, digit sum 1 plus 1 is 2 so this is also 2 is also prime number and in this case like uh, 11 and 13 was also prime number 1 plus 3 is 4 but 4 is not prime number that's why we have not included in this output and after 13 we got 17 as the prime number but 17 digit sum is 1 plus 7 is equal to 8 so 8 is not prime number so we don't have to return that right but 23 in this case 2 plus 3 the digit sum is 5 so the 5 is also prime number that's why we return 23 as the output right so in this between in this range uh, uh, 10 to 50 we have these numbers 11 23 41 43 and 47 as the prime number whose digit sum is also prime right that's why the output is this so i hope you understood the task right so if you understood then please give the answer and please motivate others also to give the answer right so let me see how many champs are there who are competing to solve the answer to give the answer first right so i hope this much of discussion is also helpful to you if you found this video helpful then please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding any company that you want and if you want the prime materials of tcs and qt then knock me at my id instagram.com slash techno.uf and very soon deloitte and capgemini is coming so if you want the prime materials of those then please knock me at my insta id as well i'll try to assist you right so thank you for today's session